Aziza, your rock and roll realtor, and today I'll be talking about the presidential debates and voting in this current election. Now, I'll also be showing you some homes for sale in San Marino, California. But before I do, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and like and comment if there are any real estate topics that you'd like for me to cover. Now, if you watched the presidential debate the other night and saw how chaotic it got with Trump speaking over Biden during Biden's two minutes and then Biden in turn responding with name calling. <laughs> you're probably wondering one thing. Why don't they turn the mics off for the candidate whose turn it isn't? to speak so that each of them could get their time in an organized and more civil fashion. Well, the reason is these televised debates are not created as a public service. The networks that broadcast these debates only care about one thing, and that's ratings. They even promote the debates like they would do a boxing match. So the more chaos, the more you'll talk about it, and then the more people will watch the next one. So think about it. If they were to turn the mic off of the candidate when it wasn't his turn to speak, then it would be more controlled, and you would be able to learn more about each candidate, but it would be as exciting as watching your local council meeting as they broadcast on PBS. Of course, I personally would rather be able to hear what each candidate has to say. So I'm not saying that they should keep both mics on. I'm just explaining why they do. Now let's talk about voting. Now it's been made pretty clear by Trump that he feels mail-in votes are going to be rigged or are fraudulent in some way. He's already been doing everything he can to shut down the post office to prevent people from mail-in voting. And he might even use his position to throw out any that do come in. It is against the law and unconstitutional, yes, but that's never stopped him before. Now, I'm just to be clear, I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm just suggesting that if you can, you should vote in person to maximize your chance of having your vote count. Now, they have not yet released the locations of the voting stations, but they will be shortly. So please check your local government website. Now, if you are in Los Angeles, the website for that is lavote.net. Now onto some homes for sale. Now I have chosen San Marino, California for this video because that's the city that I'm registered to vote in. And I can tell you that I have never had to wait in line to vote in San Marino. You just walk right up to the voting center and there's a booth available. That's just one of the many advantages of living in San Marino. Another is that San Marino has the highest rated public school district in the whole state of California. Now owning a home here guarantees a great education for your kids, plus it keeps your property value high. Yay! Let me show you some other great things about living in San Marino. Come with me. Let's start with the thing that San Marino is best known for, the Huntington Library, Art Museum, and Botanical Gardens. Now this houses art galleries with famous works like Lawrence's Pinky and Gainsborough's Blue Boy, among others, and has an amazing collection of rare books and letters. Now the galleries are currently closed due to COVID, but the 200 acres of gardens are open to the public. Now you do still need to have to buy a ticket to see the gardens and you must wear a mask on the premises at all times unless you are sitting and eating or drinking. Now the gardens are open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and are closed on Tuesdays.
Now, if you want to take a stroll through some lovely greenery for free, you can always come to Lacey Park. Now, on weekends, there is a charge unless you are a San Marino resident, uh, then you have to show ID and then it's free. Another point of interest here in San Marino is the old mill. Now completed in 1816 as a grist mill for Mission San Gabriel, the original two-story structure is the oldest commercial building in Southern California and is a prime example of Western Adobe style architecture. Now today the original structure functions as a museum as well as office space for the old mill staff. Now the museum is closed until October 31st but the gardens are open Tuesdays through Sundays from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. San Marino is very small and has a great community. There are some lovely shops and cafes here in the Mission District, and Julianne's right here is one of my favorite lunch spots, which is currently open for takeout. I am here on Huntington Drive, which is the main road that cuts through San Marino. And then it connects us to Alhambra, which is that direction, Arcadia, which is that direction. We've got San Gabriel just to the south and Pasadena is just to the north. Now there are a few businesses and cafes on this street as well. And like most cities, the main road divides the home values. So south of Huntington Drive is less expensive than north of Huntington Drive. So the homes on the south side are generally smaller as well. Now let me show you what I mean by featuring a couple of homes that are currently on the market here in San Marino. This home is located south of Huntington Drive. It's on the market at $1,818,000. It's a three bedroom, three bath, 2,600 square feet and is on a 15,000 square foot lot. look at this home that's for sale on the north side of Huntington Drive. Now this home is on the market for $10,980,000. It has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and over 9,000 square feet of living space on a 33,000 square foot lot. Now it has a 700 square foot swimming pool, a sports court for basketball and badminton, and an amazing 2,000 square foot playroom with a home theater and a fitness room. 
Now this house has it all. Let's go have a look inside. If you'd like to view either of these homes that I feature today or would like to see more homes that are available in San Marino or any other neighborhood in Los Angeles, please get in touch. I'd love to work with you. Now my contact details are below. And again, please subscribe and please like and comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.